614 right now. San Antonio woman says thieves managed to get nearly 1700 bucks out of her bank account. She told the bank it was fraud, but they won't cover the entire amount. Ken's five Andrew Moore finds out what you need to expect if you have a similar situation. Clara Rodriguez says her bank, Select FCU, called her about suspicious ATM activity in February. She said she immediately told them it was fraudulent and the bank did give her some of that money back, but not all of it. And for a family living on retirement, that can be a problem. The actual credit union called me and notified me. Thieves took Rodriguez's money out of an ATM at this CVS on February 1st and 2nd. When she later went to the bank, she found they made seven transactions for nearly $1,700. She needed the money back. It's important. It's important for survival. Rodriguez said Select FCU did start an investigation and she filed a police report, but nearly two months later, the bank still didn't have an answer, so she mentioned Ken's Five. I told him, if nothing's resolved by the Good Friday, then I'm going to go to KENS. The bank then did reimburse her for ATM fraud a few days later, but they didn't give her the full amount. Rodriguez did ask why. I asked him if I could have the denial. But Rodriguez says Select FCU would never provide an explanation in writing. Still, is the bank required to do any of that? Financial fraud attorney Daniel Schlinger says yes. Where a consumer reports the fraud quickly, as in the case you know that you've described, uh, the bank is uh, effectively required to return the money. Schlanger says, according to the Electronic Funds Transfer Act, debit card fraud reported within two days should be almost entirely reimbursed, though the bank can keep around $50. He also said, if the bank isn't reimbursing the full amount, they must provide an explanation. They are required to tell her in writing that they're denying her dispute and to explain why. Kins 5 emailed Select FCU multiple times and even visited their location to try to get that explanation. But the bank would only say the matter has been sent to their attorney and they refused to provide any further response. Rodriguez says the cost of living is still going up and they will need that money. I have to pull out a savings sometimes just to make the ends meet at the end of the month. And again, Kins has repeatedly contacted the bank to ask why the money was not reimbursed in full. They still have not answered our questions on this issue. For Call Kins, Andrew Moore, Kins 5. All right, if you have an issue you can't quite seem to get resolved, give us a call, 210-470-KENS, or you can head to kins5.com forward slash call Kens. There's a form there. You fill that out. Tell us about your problem. We'll see if we can't maybe get you a little bit of help. All right, it's 17 right now.